What's up, what's up, what up? Or as we say here in Detroit, what up though? Josh Powell here, you're watching Amateur Pool, and today we're playing the ghost. Ooh, scary. <laughs> if you're not familiar with what playing the ghost is, it's nine ball. Uh, you can do it with 10 ball also, but nine ball is what we're doing here. And you break, after the break you take ball in hand and you try to run up. If you run all the way out, you get the game. If you don't run all the way out, the ghost gets the game. So let's check it out. Here comes my first break now. Uh, spoiler alert though, I am using a template rack. It's a little bit of a cheat code with playing the ghost. It's definitely harder with a hand rack, but this is the way I'm playing it. So I mean, if you don't like it, I'm sorry, but not sorry, you know? <laughs> Solid first break, squat at the cue ball. Not that it matters because we get ball in hand now. But it was a nice break though. Cue ball stuck right where it was at. Rolling the cue ball up to the top end of the table because um, I'm going to shoot that one in the corner and I'm going to use a little left spin, top left, really, and come back down towards where the spot, you know, where you spot the balls when you break. Um, and I'll shoot that two ball in the side pocket from there. It's just the easiest way to go. The two nines are not lined up, so not much else to do here. Yeah, speed looks good. Speed looks good. Nice shot. <clears throat> Not like hitting this one with just a little draw and, and drifting the cue ball out to the middle, around the middle of the table. Um, I don't think that's how I'm playing it though. See, I tried to go up and then bounce back down. It's a lot of unnecessary cue ball movement there. Um, shouldn't have played it that way. You know, I should have just rolled it in either with top and run into the six ball or with a little draw and I would have ended up right in the middle of the table next to the six ball. Instead, Look at my shot now, it sucks, you know? It's, it's makeable for sure, it's not impossible. It's not even really that hard, but it's a lot harder than it needed to be. So I had to go around the nine. I got lucky and bumped that six a bit. So now I'm in line. Now, fingers crossed, should be able to do something here. Little draw right. I'm gonna bounce off that rail and just come back towards the six, just like that. Now I can play this one with straight draw, or I could use top left, top inside to come around three rails. Top insides I like a little better because it comes in on the line of the seven ball. You're never, oh, apparently it doesn't matter. <laughs> I can't make a straight in shot, you know what I'm saying? That was, that was El Horrible. What the Spanish call El Horrible. Man, that was bad. All right, so if you're not familiar with what I'm doing there, I have quarters, two quarters. One, one's mine, one's the ghost. You start in the middle diamond, and every time the ghost wins a game, he goes left. So now he's at the first diamond to the left. When I win a game, I'll put my quarter to the right. It's just a scorekeeping system, you know. You use it a lot and stuff in uh, pool halls and money games. And the squat and the cue ball again, man. Look at it, and the balls drop. That's why I like using the template rack, you know. It's my cheat code. <laughs> I mean, you still have to do the work, but it is a lot easier with the, uh, with the template rack for sure. All right, let's see if I can make this rack work, though. That first rack, man, I mean, you, you do all the hard work and you end up with easy shots and you don't make them. It's just lack of focus and stupidity, really, is all it is, you know. You start doing that stuff in a match and you, you can't win, you know. You do all the work, you get to a point where you can win, and then you screw yourself. Just dumb, dumb, D-U-M, dumb. All right, top inside. Look, I'm throwing my hand up already. I don't like it. I do have a shot here though. I can cut the two over to the right. Um, I could maybe cut it to the left too, but if I cut it to the right, the shape's a lot easier on the three. I'm just gonna put a touch of spin on the ball and come around the six, five, and I'll end up nice on that three ball. I should, you know, as long as I don't miss a shot. Came a little far on it. Nice little favorable bump on that four ball though. So now I'm looking at a straight in shot on the three. And where the four is at, I can use some draw. Draw up maybe a foot somewhere around the side pocket. If I go more, that's fine. Um, and I'll have a good shot on the four. Oh, I said a foot, not eight feet. Holy mackerel. Yeah, that was an error. That was definitely not intended. Um, now I'm, I'm looking at banking. I might be able to cut that six, but 
I like the bank better here just because that's a tough cut and uh, the shapes are a little easier to determine on the bank shot here. You can control it a little better. I missed it, but got it two rails. Um, speed's crucial when you're banking like that, you know, because if, if you miss the first pocket, if you have the right speed, oftentimes it'll go into the other side. Um, if you hit it too hard though, it'll just go straight back and forth after it misses the first pocket. It won't open the angle. So you gotta hit the right speed to give it a chance to go two rails. But that was absolutely a mistake. I wasn't trying to go two rails, I was trying to go one. But I did hit it with the right speed uh, to go two rails, you know? So it works. Okay, this one I'll use a little, little bit of top left English and go two rails over by the nine ball in the side pocket is what I'm gonna end up with. This is a pretty, pretty easy shape, pretty easy shot. Let's see any problems here. We should have ourselves a one to one match, you know, after I make this nine ball. Uh, be one Casper, one Josh. Thank you. There it is. Oop, there it is. All right, see, now I'm moving my coin to the right. I didn't want to cut out the racking on this because playing the ghost, people people comment and they'll be like, oh, yeah, you're you just edited together different racks. So I left the entire uh, unedited version in here. I just sped up the racking and stuff, you know. Uh, that way everyone knows it's legit. No bull snappies coming on here. Another good break. I lost the cue ball a little bit, though. Uh, I didn't want to draw the cue ball back like that. But um, made a couple balls, and I'm looking at a fairly decent table here. So the three to the four, depending on how I want to do it, I may play the three in the side off the eight, just to move the eight off the rail a little bit, and follow forward and shoot the four into that corner. Well, I'm not liking it. I'm going to shoot the three into the other side, and then I'll probably shoot the four into uh, the other corner. I think it would be like that corner, if I'm not mistaken. As we're looking at the screen, be top left corner. Nope. I played for the four in the side. Hmm, I like that. I didn't even see that right now, but apparently I saw it at the table, which is a good thing. So I'll probably just roll this one forward slightly and play the five in the corner, or I could draw back and play the five in the same side, either way. Hmm, I stopped it, kind of got in between both of those shots that I mentioned. I can still cut it in the side or go in the corner. The side might be a little easier to make, um, and the six is out in the open, so I think uh, I like going in the side here. <clears throat> Shapes aren't quite as crucial right now because the six is wide open. Yeah, that'll work. Oh, well, I got the prime shape on the six. Now I can play the six off of the eight like I was talking about earlier. I don't, I don't like the eight ball where it sits. That's like the, the most difficult spot to have a ball in a game of pool is right there on the point of the side pocket. So I'll probably play this off of there, I'm sure. If I don't, I'm a moron. Yep. There it is. Well, shoot fire. I'm looking good to take another rack here, ladies and gents. We'll have to see how it works out now, won't we? <laughs> what am I going to do here? Am I going to draw or am I going to follow? It looks like I'm lined up to draw. I must be coming back off the rail. You know? Oh, oh! You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's uh, that's horrible when you do stuff like that. Stuff. Try not to, try not to be potty mouth. You know. Uh, try not to. Just watch my language, Josh. Let's see. I mean, it's all or nothing now. You know. I done messed up. Oh, I kicked it in two rails with shapes. Imagine that. That was so lucky. You know, I messed myself up bad with that last shape. <clears throat> Got, I mean, I hit a good shot, but it was pure luck that I went in like that. It's what I was trying to do, but you don't make that shot every time you try it. You know, it's maybe, maybe one out of 10 for me uh, if I'm lucky. So that's why I say it was a lucky shot. It was what I intended but I didn't expect to make it, <laughs> to be honest. Let's just be, to be fair, I did not expect to make that shot. Another solid break, man, I love squatting that cue ball like that. <clears throat> I mean, 
in a real game where you don't have ball in hand, you squat the cue ball in the middle of the table off the break, and it gives you your best opportunity to have a shot after the break. Because from the middle of the table, you can see everything in the table, you know. You're not back in the corner trapped or nothing. Roll this one forward slightly. Bada bing, bada boom. Bada bing, bang, boom. Now I got a combo, the two into the eight here. <clears throat> So I mean, I, I wanna roll this real slow or I wanna hit it hard enough for it to come over because that eight is kinda sitting so deep, the two is gonna drift to the right, I think. Ah, I kinda went in between again. I needed to hit that harder to get the two away from the pocket um, or hit it real soft to try to leave the two in the pocket, but I, I kinda went in between, did a little bit of both and now I'm screwed. And I gotta kick at this shot to try to make it. That's the thing about playing the ghost. Um, it takes the defensive game out of the pitcher completely. You never play defense playing the ghost because if you don't run out, you lose. So I mean, what's the point in playing a safety just to lose the game, you know? Um, so now we're two to two. Casper's got two. Old Josh boy's got two. And I'm about to break. cue ball nice in the middle of the table and then it got kicked by another ball so that was a solid break I like that break and this is a beautiful looking table wide open wide open it's about as good as she gets there Clark that there's an RV Clark all right so I'm probably <clears throat> am I setting up to draw this no I'll probably come on the top side so I can shoot the, the three ball into the side pocket but I'm gonna draw up on this side of the four. At first I was like, why didn't I stay underneath of the four? But that would have taken me away from the five ball because if I was shooting this from the other side of the four, cue ball comes up table. From this side of the four, the cue ball stays down table. You know, it's a lot easier to shape. I'm probably gonna end up shaping the combo or I can use left and shape for the same side. You know, shape for the same side pocket, but the angle I got on it now, I might be better off shooting it in the corner. Shoot this in the corner and it plays a beautiful shape on the five. It's just all around a better way to go. Yeah. All right, man. A little stop shot here. I could drift forward a little bit just so I'm not straight on the six or I could draw back a little bit. I just don't want to be dead straight on the six. You can go either way. You can go towards the back rail so you have an angle coming out. You can draw. I chose to draw there, which I like because if you get the other angle, then you have to contend with the nine ball. You don't want to run into the nine ball. But from this angle, um, I can shape the eight without worrying about running into the nine, you know. <laughs> I was just kidding. I can't shape the eight without worrying about running into the nine. Well, maybe I didn't worry about it. I just did it, you know. Okay, chingas. That's what I gotta do, I gotta start cussing in Spanish. <laughs> Not a sponsor, by the way, still. Cut this in the side with zero spin, just straight up and down. Oh, I put a slight bit of right, but I don't think I intended to. And then this should put me at thrice, thrice. Bang, bang, boom. See, now I move the coin over to the third diamond. And here we go. Three to two. Casper's getting his booty. Whoop, molly wop, wah. I better not get all excited because we all know. If you watched any of my videos, you all know how easy I can screw something up. Miss shots here and there, straight in. You know, I can definitely mess up a match. It's kind of my specialty, really, you know? what I do best. Look at me. I'm going to take the short rack. I'm going to combo the 2-9, which is it's the right thing to do in this situation. If I were playing somebody else in a match, I would do the same thing. You know? I'm going to combo the 9 and get on the hill, baby. That eliminates a lot of room for error because... You know, I just got done talking about how I like to miss a lot of shots. If I try to run all that rack, and there's like seven balls I could miss before, <laughs> before I uh, win that game. 
If I take the short rack and make the combo, there's only one shot I have to worry about. Well, I mean, you know, it is what it is. I took the short rack. So sue me, you know? Sue me. Littering A. Littering A. Smoke in the reefer. Leave me a comment if you know what that's from. It's a legendary movie, by the way. Legendary movie. Don't forget to subscribe while you're at it, you know? While you're down there commenting, just hit that little subscribe button. We'll become close personal friends, you and I. We can talk like this intimately. All hours of the night. Long walks on the beach. Nah, that's second thought, don't subscribe. No, man, we, that's a lot of beach walking. I don't want to do all that. Meanwhile, I'm running this rack, making short work of this rack here, and I'm on the hill, so if I finish this rack, I'll just molly walk, molly walk the ghost. But, you know how I do, I probably won't finish this rack. <laughs> That's a good shape there, though. That was just straight bottom, there was no spin on that. I had a slight angle, so the bottom just, and it wasn't a lot of bottom, it was just a little below center, and it bounced off the rail and back out. Just a little more bottom than a stun. I'll probably do the same shot here and just bounce out again. Oh, I bounced out too far that time. A little more draw would have slowed the cue ball more and it wouldn't have bounced out as much. I'm okay though, I still got a shot here. It's just a longer shot than I than I wanted, you know? It's not, not a real tough shot though. Eh, knock on wood. Whew, I thought for sure I was gonna curse myself. I know you did too, little Timmy. You thought I was gonna curse myself on that, didn't you? Make this for the win. I like to put bottom outside on these so I don't worry about a scratch anywhere. That's game, guys. Ghost, better luck next time, sucker. Josh, congratulations. Everybody out there, I appreciate you so much. Thanks for watching. Hope you continue to have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe, leave me a comment, and we'll chat next time. Peace.